What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'm here with an incredibly quick update video for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So I've recently gone through a ton of crashes every 5, 10, 20 minutes, especially while playing zombies in the campaign and everywhere else. I'm getting that same error code 3107 blah blah blah, you click OK, you get another error code and it just doesn't seem to have a solution no matter what guides you follow. Now, I personally have created my own guides and they'll be linked in the description down below. While I do recommend you follow those tips, there is one specific tip that I mentioned in there and basically every other optimization or guide YouTuber includes as well. And that one feature that we all tell you to turn on is the one causing the issues. You might of course have this already turned on by default if you simply updated Windows to the latest version. Before we get into how exactly I got there, what error codes I got and more, I'll simply show you what you can try to do to try and fix it. Note that if it doesn't fix crashes for you, again, check the description down below for a link to a video that'll take you through a couple of fixes that should get you going. First of all, hit start, type in GPU, and then open up graphics settings. Inside of here, the very first option, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, make sure to turn this off. You'll be asked to restart your computer, make sure to bookmark this page if you have got this going on the same computer you're doing this on, restart, try again, and if it seems to be crashing, remember to check the description down below for another link to another video explaining a whole bunch of fixes that should get you going. Once I turned this off, restarted my PC, I was able to reach level 30 something in Zombies where I crashed out every time around 1520, I could finish entire story missions without the game crashing out once, and I was able to play multiplayer maps from the big to the small, I especially especially had issues on the beta and this current version with the firebomb or whatever game mode it is, it seemed to crash so very often. So of course, if that fixed it for you, then great. If you're wondering what other areas I got to, well, one of them was rather interesting. If I open up Event Viewer, which is Windows collection of crash logs, etc, etc, expand the Windows log section, open up System, you should see all of these system errors that are in here. Now, of course, most if not all of these you can ignore, but if I scroll down to earlier today, there should be two or three errors together, all from the same exact source, NVL DDM KM. If I have a look inside of here, the description for event ID 13 source NV blah 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 cannot be found, and there's a whole bunch more information here. Basically, what I got was slash device video whatever it is, variable string too long. If I have a look at the next message, there should be some more info here. There we go, NVRM graphics, text exception on GPC, whatever, whatever, text layout. But you can see just how many of these NVLDDMKM errors I had coming from here. 9.48 PM, scrolling back, 9.38 PM, I had another crash inside of Call of Duty. I'll simply filter this by source as such. And you'll see just how often I got this error. 9.51 p.m., 9.48 p.m., 9.38 p.m. So you can see that I'm getting them every half an hour, 20 minutes, hour or so. And this has happened for numerous days since release. These ones over here, of course, 2020, 10, 19, were from the beta, and these ones from the 11th, November, are from the full release. For some reason, this fix just seems to have done it for me, and I'm very curious to see if it would have fixed my crashing inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. For some reason, Modern Warfare and Cold War seem to be the only two games that have tons of crashing issues for me, where it freezes, and if you try and alter F4, it takes your entire PC down with it into the ground. I'm literally not joking here, if it freezes, you hit Alt F4 or bring up Task Manager and try to close the application, your whole PC locks up and you have nothing to do but hit the reset button on your PC or pull out the plug, plug it back in and turn it on. It's incredibly annoying, I have absolutely no idea why this is happening and I'm incredibly unsure as to why this feature that helps so much with performance in certain games is causing such a huge issue here. So if you do find that this hardware acceleration feature does give you performance boosts in other games, simply remember to turn it off and restart your PC if you're going to be playing Cold War. If you're going to switch to playing other games, simply turn it on, restart, and play whatever other games. For some reason, only the Call of Duty series, especially those newer ones on the Blizzard launcher, seem to be struggling from this. But anyways, once again, if this hasn't fixed the issue for you, make sure to check the description down below for a link to another video on fixing a whole bunch of startup, random crash, etc, etc issues. Anyways, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.